Breaking news. President of Iran. A strong retaliation will occur if you disregard Iran's interests. Axios states that following the incident, the U.S. Treasury is drafting new penalties against Iran, and Foreign Minister Katz claims to be leading a diplomatic offensive against Iran. This week, the U.S. House of Representatives will vote on an aid measure for Israel. Overnight, protesters block trucks transporting aid to Gaza. U.S. officials anticipate a limited Israeli reaction from outside Iran in response to Iran's attack. On Tuesday, Axios claimed, citing a copy of U.S. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen's speech, that Yellen is considering further sanctions on Iran in reaction to Iran's attack on Israel. The Treasury will not hesitate to engage with our friends to continue blocking the Iranian regime's disruptive and destabilizing activity, Yellen is set to remark Tuesday, according to the Axios article. The strike by Iran and its proxies highlights the significance of Treasury's efforts to oppose Iran's malicious activities through economic means, she will reportedly add. Yellen has already stated that the United States will employ sanctions and collaborate with allies in response to Iran's conduct, which she warned posed a threat to Middle Eastern stability and might have economic repercussions. Finance Minister Bezalel Smotrich departed from an Israel Hayam press conference following demonstrators' demands that he resign in response to their criticism of his ministerial performance. Both before and after October 7, demonstrators started yelling and physically assaulting Smotrich as soon as he stepped onto the stage. How can you be here with a pin for the hostages and still refuse to acknowledge the reality we live in, someone questioned. It takes two to quarrel, Smotrich said in response. I am leaving the other side. If there is a vocal minority within Israeli society seeking to sow discord and hatred, and you can see it happening right before your eyes. You have no customers for the hate you're peddling. Smotrich then stepped down from the stage. According to a Turkish diplomatic source, the Egyptian foreign minister will be visiting Turkey to address regional and Gaza related issues. On Tuesday, a Turkish diplomatic source confirmed that during his next weekend visit to Turkey, Egyptian foreign minister Sami Shaukri will reportedly meet with his Turkish counterpart to address the current situation in Gaza and other Middle Eastern issues. The source added that Turkish Foreign Minister Hakan Fidan and Shaukri will review the most recent progress in the ceasefire talks including Gaza. After Iran attacked Israel, Japan urged the Islamic Republic to exercise restraint. The Japanese Foreign Ministry announced on Tuesday that during a phone conversation between the two nations' foreign ministers, Japan advised Iran to be cautious after its strike on Israel. During her talk with her Iranian counterpart, Hossein Amir Abdelayan, Japan's foreign minister Yoko Kamikawa emphasized the need to protect the safety of navigation in the waterways of the region. According to the Japanese government, I am spearheading a diplomatic campaign against Iran, says Israel's foreign minister. Regarding Iran's missile development and the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, Israeli Foreign Minister Israel Katz has been in touch with world leaders to demand sanctions and has been heading a diplomatic effort against Iran, according to a Tuesday post on X. The public will not be able to enter the Israeli pavilion at the Venice Biennale. Once the hostages come back, we will open the exhibition. Visitors will not be able to enter the Israeli pavilion at the Venice Biennale until April 20 and the doors will remain sealed until then. Through the glass windows of the pavilion, onlookers will be able to view the three video artworks created by artist Ruth Patter that comprise the show, M. Otherland. Because art needs an open heart, which doesn't exist right now, hence it's best to stay closed, the curator of the exhibition cites two factors as justification for keeping the pavilion closed. We cannot, as women, citizens, and human beings, stand by while the captives' lives remain unchanged. We were under the impression that a new course of action was imminent and that a deal was being considered right up until the very end. By the end of the Biennale's seven months, we hope to have struck a hostage arrangement and a ceasefire, and we aim to post a sign stating as such, the head of Iran spoke with us in the news, there will be repercussions for any move that goes against Iran's interests. The Iranian student news agency reports that Iranian President Ebrahim Raisi declared on Tuesday that Iran will react to any move that goes against its interests. This comes a day after Israel threatened retaliation for Iran's missile and drone attacks over the weekend. While speaking with Amir Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani of Qatar, Raisi made it clear that Iran would respond violently to any move that goes against its interests. 
Israel's military chief of staff, Herzi Halavai, stated on Monday that a response was necessary in response to Iran's strike on Israel. The attack was a response to the bombing of the Iranian embassy compound in Damascus on April 1. On Monday night, Ali Bagheri Khani, Iran's deputy foreign minister, spoke on state TV, stating that if Israel were to reply, Tehran would launch a counteroffensive a matter of seconds as Iran will not wait for another 12 days to strike.